landing good quality models in Blender is sometimes not that easy, say you need a model, where you go, to Google for sure, and look for free stuff, but the chance of getting it in Blender format is not that high, so you look for common files, as in any 3D site, they will provide an extra FBX or OBJ files with the original ones, whether it's Studio Max or Maya or any of those, and importing the different formats in Blender won't work as you think, say regarding materials, importing FBX and OBJ files to Blender will probably give you untraceable maps with pink view, or paint the entire object with one color and one material, and for that, I will show you today how to easily fix one of the most used material in ArchViz models, which is fabric. Let's say we have this sofa model, and I already deleted all the materials in it so I kept only the empty slots, and let us take you through setting up a fast and simple yet much realistic fabric on this sofa. So once you add a material to this model, most of it at least which is assigned to the top slot, we need to go online and look for something similar to the fabric on those images, or anything that comes to your mind, and there are many sites that provide free high quality textures, the one I use mostly are textures.com and ambient CG, both are great to look at, so enter any keyword if you are looking for a specific fabric, for me I will go with this one called fabric 23, you can find it on the site if you want to follow along, and for the resolution, you can make it 4K or even 8K, for me I will keep it on 2K for the sake of my laptop, now once you unpack the maps, you will get this collection, back in Blender, and before you work on anything related to nodes, you must enable the node wrangler, since all the shortcuts related to it. So, an easy way to set up a PBR material for this model is with the Ctrl Shift T shortcut, then select the maps available, and it will fix you up with two clicks, easy and fast, and we did make a video on it before, this one is like adding a pre-made material from many library, which is very helpful and do the trick, however, if you don't have enough maps, say like you have only color and normal, this last method won't work, so let me teach you a bit more advanced method in setting this up, let us take a step back, and just drop the color map on the empty BSDF node, then connect it to the base color. Pressing Ctrl T on the color map will add both the mapping and the coordinate nodes, with this we can fix the material scale on the object, and we do that in this area. Hold Shift to select all axes, and just increase the value to make it look real, keep in mind, the best thing here is to have a reference image to work on the scale, for this fabric I think 10 or 12 on the scale can give us a good result. The next thing we do after scaling the texture is to make sure the unwrap is done well on the model, and looking at the corner here we can see some stretching, so we need to UV unwrap the texture over the model, we do that easily by selecting the faces assigned to the material, and hit U to open the unwrap options, the same menu can be found here on the top bar with the same UV tag, and with this we mostly use one of those three, the first unwrap, the raw one which don't give that good result in general, the smart UV in the other hand can fix you up if you don't know what shape is the model you working on, or if it's mixed with different geometry, it's basically telling Blender to figure out the unwrap on the object in the best way possible, and the last is the cube projection, as in the sofa we have here, which is made from a collection of cubes, so we go with the third option, and you can go around to check the model one more time after the unwrap is done. Next thing we need to fix is the look, the material is giving plastic vibes so we need to adjust 3 slides on the BSDF, with the roughness we go all in, and we make it on 1, the specular is on the lowest value, something like 0.03 is enough, and with material like fabric, we can use the sheen slider to give the fabric the faded white reflection from the view perspective, which works somehow similar to the Fresnel effect in glass and I won't change the sheen tent, but you can look it online for more info on Blender site, a sheen value of 0.8 can add some depth to this material, 
Once we are done with those three sliders, we can go back and drop a normal bitmap under the color, and with this new texture, we will set it to non-color type, and connect it to the BSDF via a normal map node. Connect the color to the color and set the strength to fit the fabric, with this one I will make it around 0.3 as a strength value for now. The normal texture and the color are not matching because we need to connect the mapping node to the normal, so that it take the same scale, and you can see that clearly if you press Ctrl Shift and left mouse click on any node you have. I will also add another normal map, this one is for the wrinkles on the fabric, so same as before, drop the texture inside the node editor and set it up to non-color type, then connect it to a normal map node, we also need to attach the last map to the mapping vector to give it the same scale and set the strength to something that fits the fabric. So to mix two normal maps on the same BSDF, we can have the two textures connected to a separate normal map nodes, then mix the two with a color mix, you can go back and fix the strength on both the normal maps along with the mix factor. To change the fabric color we can use the same color mix node and set it up on multiply, then connect the diffuse to the first color slot in the mix, and with the bottom color still free, we can change the shades on this material. You can after that use the factor to settle the color back to the original texture, and this is how it looks in Evi, quite realistic fabric and don't mind the couple minutes we spend here, it's just for the explaining, this method will take you roughly 30 seconds on each material to fix it up once you have your textures on the side, so maybe this sofa will take 2 or 3 minutes depending on your speed, this way you won't struggle fixing any model imported to Blender. And you can also do that with only the color texture even without the normal by mixing it to a saturation and connect it with the normal input. Now an extra step to enhance the realism in this fabric is adding a velvet BSDF node to the material. However this one is only available with cycles, so if you're on EVI, you won't find it, and this is enough for today. With cycles on the other hand, we can add the velvet node, mix it with the principal BSDF and then connect both the color and the normal to it, which is in our case the two color mix we made, and this node works similar to the sheen value in the principal BSDF so it adds some cool reflections to cloth material by scattering light around it, just cool stuff, finally for the sigma value, don't play with it, just don't, and that's it for today, stay sharp guys, goodbye.